بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى صحبه الغر الميمين وعلى التابعين وتابع التابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإخلاص إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إخوتي وأخواتي في الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حديثنا اليوم يدور حول النفس الإنسانية والله سبحانه وتعالى ذكر هذه النفس في كتابه العزيز في آيات عدة وفي سور مختلفة وفي وفي مناسبات كثيرة ففي خلق هذه النفس قال تعالى وهو الذي أنشأكم من نفس واحدة وقال يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وجعل منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا My dear brothers and sisters our talk today is on the human soul and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this human soul in his glorious book in many verses and in different surahs and uh, in uh, and in relation to many occasions uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it is he who has initiated or originated you from a single soul and he also said O oh people be mindful of Allah who created you from a single soul and from it he created its mate and from both of them he spread many men and women. وفي النهي عن قتل هذه النفس قال عز وجل ولا تقتل النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ووصف شناعة قتلها بقوله عز وجل عز وجل من أجل ذلك كتبنا على بني إسرائيل أنه من قتل نفسا فكأنما قتل من أجل ذلك كتبنا على بني إسرائيل أنه من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا ومن أحياها فكأنما أحيا الناس جميعا And upon the killing of this soul unjustly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Do not murder do not commit murder on this soul. Do not kill this soul which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden except injustice. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the ugliness and the, uh, and the horrible uh, action of killing this soul when he said, for that we have ordained on the children of Israel that whosoever killed a soul in without recompense for another soul or without having committed corruption on earth then he or she as as if they killed all humanity and whosoever revived this soul, it is as if he revived the whole of humanity. وفي جزاء من قتلها قال تعالى ولكم في القصاص حياة يا أولي الألباب لعلكم تتقون And the recompense for killing this soul is to kill the one who committed this murder. So the reward for murdering a soul is is murder and this is the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon whosoever uh, dared to kill a an innocent human soul regardless of its 
religion, regardless of its ethnicity, regardless of its background. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and in recompense uh, and in retribution is a life, O man of reason, so that you may be righteous. وذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى حكم قتل هذه النفس في التوراة فقال جل وعلا وكتبنا عليهم فيها أن النفس بالنفس والعين بالعين والأنف بالأنف والأذن بالأذن والجروح قصاص أن الله سبحانه وتعالى said in the Torah uh, what is called nowadays uh, the Old Testament he said that we have ordained upon them, that's upon the children of Israel, that uh, a soul is for a soul. You know, قتل النفس بالنفس أن النفس بالنفس أن an eye for an eye والعين بالعين والأنف بالأنف أن a nose for a nose and uh, والجروح قصاص and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained these rules upon those who commit murder. Uh, and in killing of a believer, and it is a major sin to do so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ يَقْتُلْ مُؤْمِنًا مُتَعَمِّدًا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَعْنَهُ وَعَدَّ لَهُ عَذَابًا عَظِيمًا And in relation to uh, murdering a believing soul, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and whosoever kills a believer deliberately on purpose, then his recompense or his reward will be the blaze, Jahannam. And he will abide in it, and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be upon him, as is the curse of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for him a grave torment in the hereafter. وفي وفاة النفس قال تعالى الله يتوفى الأنفس حين موتها والتي لم تمت في منامها فيمسك التي قضى عليها الموت ويرسل الأخرى إلى أجل مسمى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in relation to death when the uh, soul, the human soul is being taken when, when someone is dying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is Allah who takes the souls at the time of its death or of, of, of the, at the time of their death. And uh, the soul that did not die, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also takes it. And he holds uh, on the one that he ordained death upon and he then releases the other which was in its sleep to an appointed time. In fi dhalika la ayatin li qawmin yatafakkaroon. Indeed, in, in this are signs for people who reflect. Wa dhukirat al nafsu aydan ikhwati la hibba, akhawati al azza, fi mawadi'a ukhra adida fi kitabillah. La yakfi waktu hadihi, waktu hadha al hadith, li sardiha kulliha. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned uh, the human soul in so many other uh, places in the glorious Qur'an. And the time does not permit to uh, mention it all uh, and to talk about it all. وَالنَّفْسُ الْإِنْسَنِيَّةُ أَنْوَاعٌ ثَلَاثَةٌ كَمَا تَعْرِفُونَ وَكَمَا ذَكَرَهَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ أولها النفس المطمئنة التي قال الله عنها حين وفاتها يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية فادخلي في عبادي ودخلي جنتي الله سبحانه وتعالى uh, mentioned three types of souls in his glorious Quran the first of which is the tranquil soul, is the assured soul, is the peaceful soul, is the satisfied soul, it is the pleasing and pleased soul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he said, O tranquil soul, return 
to your Lord, pleasing and pleased, and enter my servants and enter my paradise. قال ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما النفس المطمئنة هي النفس المصدقة. The son of Al Abbas, may Allah be pleased with both of them, he said that the tranquil soul is the believing soul, is the one that confirms faith, that believes. وقال قتادة رحمه الله نفس المؤمن المطمئنة إلى ما وعد الله. It is the human soul that is assured of the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وقال الحسن رحمه الله هي المطمئنة بما قال الله والمصدقة بما قال. And Al-Hasan, he said, uh, the tranquil soul is the one who is assured by what Allah has said and the, and, and the one that believes in what Allah has said. وقال مجاهد رحمه الله هي المنيبة المخبتة التي أيقنت أن الله ربها وضربت جأشا لأمره وطاعته وأيقنت بلقائه. And Mujahid, may, may Allah's mercy be upon him, he said, it is the soul that is oft returning to Allah. The soul that is humbled itself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which has certainty in, uh, in the uh, lordness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is its lord. And uh, it, it humbled itself to his commands, meaning that is an obedient uh, soul. It obeys Allah and who, ha- and who has certitude uh, of meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَهِيَ بِاخْتِصَارِ النَّفْسُ السَّاكِنَةُ الْمُسْتَقِرَّةِ الَّتِي اطْمَأَنَّتْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ كَمَا قَالَ تَعَالَى أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبِ and the tranquil soul or the peaceful soul is the one that is that has tranquility and 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 it has settlement it is a settled soul uh, it is a peaceful soul assured soul that has uh, serenity uh, which is assured by the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said indeed it is by the remembrance of allah that souls become tranquil and peaceful. وهي التي اطمأنت إلى وعد الله ولقائه وقضائه وقدره ورضت به ربا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا وبالإسلام دينا. And it is the soul that is assured by the promise of Allah and by the meeting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the ordinance of Allah and the predestiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one that is pleased with Allah as its Lord and with Muhammad may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him as its prophet and messenger and uh, by Islam as its religion. وثاني هذه الأنفس هي النفس اللوامة والتي ذكر الله تعالى في سورة القيامة بقوله الكريم لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة and the second type or the second kind of human souls is the, the blaming soul النفس اللوامة واختلف العلماء فيها بين معنيين معنى اللوم والتلوم uh, and, and scholars differed in the meaning of the blaming soul. And they have fluctuated between the meaning of blame and the meaning of hesitance and discoloration or, uh, you know, bec- uh, that, that the soul, this is the blaming soul that bl- blames someone who did wrong. Why did he do it? And blames someone he did who did good why did not he increase in that goodness you know do more uh, of, of good deeds uh, so uh, this is the, uh, the, dif- the the differences between scholars in the meaning of an nafs al 
عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه قال هي النفس اللؤوم uh, and ibn abbas may allah be pleased upon both of them uh, he said that it is the soul that is blaming that it blames its you know the uh, its, its owner وقال ايضا كل نفس تلوم نفسها يوم القيامه يوم القيامه he said also that every soul will blame itself on the day of judgment تلوم المحسن نفسه لما لم يزدد احسانا you know the one who is a bad doer uh, or evil doer uh, its soul will blame him uh, uh, um, uh, uh, no sorry the the one that is a good doer his soul will blame him why did not he increase in good deeds why didn't he do more of the good deeds and وتلوم المسيء نفسه لما لم يرجع عن اساءته and the one who is an evil doer it, his soul or her soul will blame him or will blame her why did he not stop doing that evil وقال عكرمه رحمه الله تلوم على الخير والشر uh, عكرمه he said that the blaming soul is the one who blames upon good and upon evil and it's the same meaning as ibn abbas has uh, explained وقال مجاهد رحمه الله هي التي تندم على ما فات وتلوم عليه and it's the same meaning he said that مجاهد uh, it is the soul uh, that makes someone regretful uh, of past deeds and blames uh, its owner why did do these deeds why did he do these deeds وقال قتاده رحمه الله هي الفاجره he said uh, that this uh, nafs or the soul is the uh, disobedient one and it does disobedient acts and it blames then itself why did they do that وقالوا العلماء ان معنى اللوم هو الاظهر and the scholars uh, said that the meaning of blaming is the one that is apparent and, uh, and more pre- preponderant. Uh, لأن التلوم من لوازم اللوم. He said that uh, hesitation, uh, you know, doing, uh, doing um, uh, bad deeds, hesitantly, in, in hesitance, uh, meaning that the, the nafs commits uh, that bad deed um, not entirely, um, you know, intentionally, but it, it, it hesitates uh, of doing it and not doing it. And when it does it, it blames itself because of that. فالنفس لعدم استقرارها وتغير حالها تفعل الشيء ثم تلوم عليه. Because the soul, because of its insettlement uh, and of its uh, changing conditions, it does something and then it blames itself why she did it or why uh, he did it. وثالث الأنواع هي النفس الأمارة بالسوء. قال تعالى على لسان امرأة العزيز وما أبرئ نفسي إن النفس لأمارة بالسوء إلا ما رحم ربي إن ربي غفور رحيم. And the third type of souls is the evil enjoining soul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said upon the tongue of the wife of the uh, al-aziz in the Quran she said wa ma ubarri'u nafsi i am not uh, free of blame i do not make my soul free of blame for indeed the soul is uh, evil enjoining except the souls that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed his mercy upon for indeed Allah is all forgiving is most merciful wa hiya an-nafs allati ta'muru sahibaha bima tahwah min ash-shahawati wa ittiba' ash-shubuhat and it is the soul that commands its owner uh, by what it has of whims and desires it's out of its caprice and uh, of, of what she follows of doubts. Uh, and it is the soul that 
and it leads everyone who obeys it to that which is ugly, to that which is evil, to that which is bad. وَكَلِمَةْ أَمَّارَةَ تَدُلُّ عَلَى كَثْرَةِ أَمْرِهَا بِالسُّوءِ And the word amara, it means that it often and it usual, its hab, habit, it is habitually commanding its owner to do that which is evil. وَهُوَ عَادَةٌ فِيهَا And it's a habit, and it's, it's habit to do so. تُكَرِّرُهَا مَرَّةً بَعْدَ مَرَّةً إلا إذا رحمها الله سبحانه وتعالى فزكاها وجعلها أمارة بالخير. Except this all that Allah سبحانه وتعالى bestowed His mercy upon and uh, made it uh, and a good enjoining soul. And that's by the grace of Allah upon believers. And He said uh, in relation to that, ولولا فضل الله عليكم ورحمته. ما زكى منكم من أحد أبدا والله يزكي من يشاء والله سميع عليم and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in relation to that and to uh, explain his favor and grace upon believers he said had it not been by the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he would have purified none of you at all and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purifies whosoever he wills. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed is all hearing, all knowing. And the human soul in general and its in its origin is subject to uh, doing good as well to doing bad. And sometimes it is a tranquil and uh, serene soul and it is sometimes it's a blaming soul and at other times it is evil enjoining soul. وَالْحُكْمُ فِي ذَلِكْ لِلْغَالِبِ عَلَيْهَا مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَحْوَالِ And we uh, judge that soul by what is most uh, uh, most uh, prevailing of its of its three conditions uh, and al-falah uh, kullu al-falah liman zakka hadhihi an-nafs wa tahharaha bit-ta'at wa jannabaha al-munkarat wa nahaha an hawaha faj'alaha mutma'innatan radiyatan mardiya and success all success is for the one who purifies his or her soul uh, with obedient acts and to avoid that which is evil and uh, sin uh, and sinful and uh, the one who uh, advised his soul against its caprice against its whims and forbidden desires and he made it a tranquil uh, serene, satisfied, peaceful, pleased and pleasing soul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا And by the soul who, and the one who created it, and who one, and by the one who fashioned it, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And the one who inspired it by its obedient and by its righteousness and by its disobedience, the one who purifies it is the one who is successful. And the one who is, uh, uh, you know, a loser is the one who did not purify her, his, his soul or her soul. And the one who neglected the soul. And Allah subhanahu wa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, indeed, successful is the one who purifies his soul and, uh, and, 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 and this by giving zakah, by giving sadaqah, وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ فصلى, And by remembering the name of his Lord, and then he established prayer. وَقَالَ جَلَّ وَعَلَى فَأَمَّا مَنْ طَغَى وَآثَرَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ الْمَعْوَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, as, as to the one who 
transgressed, who become a tyrant and preferred the life of this world, then for that person there is the blaze and that blaze will be his abode. وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى But as to the one who feared the position of his Lord, who fears to, sta- to stand before his Lord for, uh, for uh, being accountable for his deeds, the one who fears the, his position before his Lord for that and who advised his soul against its caprice, then for that person, uh, paradise is the abode. وعلاج النفس الأمارة بالسوء أحبة في الله يكون بمخالفتها ومحاسبتها and the cure for the uh, evil enjoining soul is by uh, by not carrying out what the soul tries to enjoin upon him or upon her and to hold the soul accountable. ففي الحديث الذي رواه أحمد وحسنه الثرمدي رحمهم الله رحمهم الله والذي رواه أبو يعيا أبو يعلى شداد ابن أوس ابن أوس رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الكيس من دان نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت والعاجز من أتبع نفسه هواها وتمنى على الله In the hadith, uh, the prophetic tradition that was narrated by Ahmed and uh, At-Tirmidhi, may Allah's mercy be upon them both, uh, which was narrated by Abu Ya'la Shaddad ibn Aws, uh, which was in, in turn narrated by Abu Ya'la Shaddad ibn Aws, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the wise al-kayis, mandana nafsa, the wise is the one who, who, who holds himself or herself accountable and the one who worked for the hereafter for what is after death and the one who is foolish is the one who uh, let his soul's caprice lead him and he was having wishful thinking uh, wishing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive him by uh, not doing deeds but by only wishful thinking ومخالفة النفس ومحاسبتها أحبتي في الله إن شاء الله سيكون موضوع حديث آخر لنا اللهم آتي نفس أنفسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسررنا وما أعلنا وما أسرفنا وما أنت أعلم به منا أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على خاتم النبيين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وإلى لقاء آخر بإذن الله أستودعكم الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته